Nanakuli boy Lyle Tuiloma will soon be starting football camp at the University of Colorado. He's there on a full scholarship. But he really had a lot to overcome just to get there. He says that the secret was his strong family and his motto, defend the valley. We've always gone by defend the valley. But I'm proud and happy to say that valley defended. Kelei mai lao kaula i ke kahi e. Defend the Valley means representing your community at the best of your capabilities. You know, representing your community by being successful at what you do, by being successful at a sport, being successful as an, as an individual. It's practically just representing Nana Kuli in a, in a very blessed and very good way. It started as a battle cry for the Nana Kuli football team but many adopted it as a call to crush negative stereotypes associated with West Oahu. Defending the valley, we're telling them that I'm not ashamed from where I come from. This is who I am. The Tuiloma family is well known in Nanakuli, and Lyle Tuiloma is easy to recognize at 6 foot 2, 285 pounds. Despite his stature, he says his childhood seemed pretty normal right up until his fourth grade year when his parents lost their home while battling a drug problem. After my parents had got their house taken away, my sister took us in. Around this time, his older sister Chantel had a decision to make. She received a letter of acceptance to the University of Arizona and was ready to become the first person in her family to go to college. But... I just felt that my heart needed to be here. I felt that my desire was, my destiny was to be home and to help take care of the family rather than fulfilling my own. Because honestly, if I, I felt that if I were to go into college, I don't think I ever would have came back. So Chantel crumpled up the letter, threw it away, and stayed. She and her now husband, Alika, rented an apartment and took in Lyle and their two other brothers, Lyman and Lionel. But she was no pushover. I remember one night, I said, Tita, uh, I, I'm hungry. I can't have something to eat. She was like, bro, but you have two legs and you got two hands. And I was like, oh, okay, you're right, you're right. So I ended up making everyone dinner that night. From the time that they were little, I, I knew that you know, these kids can be somebody. I, I can see football players in them all around the table. They were full of energy. They're, they're more bigger than their classmates. <laughs> so Lyle and his brothers focused on football and school while Chantel and Alika did the rest. A few years later, they got a call saying their parents were clean and ready to come back into their lives. They welcomed it and reunited all under one roof. As a family for the past three years, we went through a lot. We went through a lot, um, but it helped us grow stronger today. The whole family was at Lyle's graduation, adding to an already amazing year. If we should win, if we should win. Let it be by the code. Let it be by the code. Beat the Nana held high. Beat the Nana held high. If we should lose, if we should lose. We stand by the road. Stand by the road. And cheers, the winners go by. And cheers, the winners go by. Lyle was a team captain and played both offensive and defensive line as the Golden Hawks went 10-0 in the regular season. And let's not forget the big letter from the University of Colorado. I was looking at my husband, I was like, am I reading this right? They just said that they're gonna offer him a full scholarship. So now Lyle and the rest of the Tui Lomas are role models. Because I told my brother, do not be ashamed to share your story. A lot of families have problems, be thankful. Every struggle, every struggle, I said. The bigger the struggle, the bigger the accomplishment. So consider this success on a number of levels. For a young man in his football career, his sister who sacrificed her dream to let her brother fulfill it, and a family determined to stay together and defend the valley. I had the chance of, of meeting Lyle. I had done an event out there in Nanakuli at the high school. Mm -hmm. And it all started when I asked him, I said, how much do you love football? And he, and he started off, he said, you know, football changed my life. He said, football saved my life. Yeah, it really did. Yeah. Does he talks about what a great opportunity this is, but does he ever talk about that he misses Hawaii? He's got to miss his family. Yeah, yeah well, he, he just went just a couple of weeks ago. Uh, so, you know, he's had some time, and he, and he keeps in touch with them, obviously. Right. You know, I, we brought uh, Joel Ugai, who's our photographer, he did a great job with this. Mm -hmm. I, I said, you got to meet this kid, and, and he met him, and he's like, I love him! <laughs> How can you he's not love awesome. him? He and his family. But, but yeah, him and Chantel and the rest of the family.
kudos to them yeah. defending the valley. Thanks for telling their story, yeah. Steve.